there's the big picture of the RAF 2000 GTX just in the process of doing the 25, 50, and 100 hour inspection. So it's all torn apart in pieces. Take a little closer look. Got the doors off. And the panel is out. Just trying to sort out the wiring. I took all the post lights out to get less wiring, but the intercom's got a feedback on it. I don't really know on these jacks what the resistors are for on there or if they're supposed to be. I'm no electronics guy. But yeah, while it's apart, lubricate all the joints, the uh, rod end bearings. cables for the rudder and for the brake we'll have to jack it up and do each of the wheel bearings make sure they're greased replace the fuel lines replace these rod ends and then two more up here and a couple at the bottom We'll use better quality rod ends than the ones that are on here. And I had new bushing material made for this a company called Polymark in uh, Ontario. Custom makes these polyethylene, I think it's called, 50 durometer. And the carb's off right now in the propeller. Already put a new belt on it and uh, change the oil. I have to replace that bushing there too on the exhaust plate because it's a little squished. And these barrier mounts here, that one's pretty squished. Pulled the fuel tank out because it seemed to be a bit of a leak. Just couldn't figure out where, so I tried JB welding around these two fittings. That was the only discoloration that I could see. And then we'll put new fuel lines on there as well. See, so yeah, I changed the oil and a new oil filter. Just used a gear clamp to safety wire it, keep it tight. I'm kind of just waiting. Oh yeah, I've got this. I'm going to add this in down where that uh, down where that filter is. Move that filter over to here, and then a clear hose will come up from here, and I'll use that as a sight gauge to measure out. Put one gallon in at a time and mark it on the on plastic tubing like this, and the valve on here so you can close it off. Apparently, you get low on fuel that'll start sucking air down that pipe and uh, starve you for gas, so that wouldn't be good. Yeah, I seem to have every tool in my basement out here. This is the pre rotator cable. So you pull that, have to pull that uh, square flex tube out and clean it up and lubricate it. And then the K&N filter, bought a filter recharger cleaning kit for that, so we'll do that. Holly carburetor, the two barrel, I've already rebuilt that. And, oh, just some more miscellaneous hoses, replace, uh, replace any of the old hoses on the cooling system. And I'll rerun those long hoses down there. Those go in up to the radiator up front for uh, for the defrost. You can see that just under under the dash here. So 
two hoses have to run from the engine. Come out through from this port, so this hose would go away. Come out through this port, down and through the fuselage, and then come back out and go into this port. So it's in lots of pieces now, but when it gets back, put back together again, it'll start to it'll look like a gyrocopter again.